Hello everybody, this is Melanie at the Longmont Yarn Shop and today I'm going to be demonstrating how to use mattress stitch to seam up a project. Um, a lot of times we'll see mattress stitch um, if you're working in pieces. I've definitely used this to seam together um, blankets and this project is a poncho. It's made out of shibui. Uh, it's 100% cotton and it's going to be an asymmetrical poncho. So what the pattern is asking us to do is mattress stitch half of this seam. Um, so I've got a little marker up here to tell me where to stop and I'm going to show us how to get going on this. So it's pretty simple. All we need is a darning needle and the yarn that your project is in. What's really nice about mattress stitch is it typically when you snug it up um, it hides the, the thread, but obviously you still want to use the color of your project. Um, so I've got myself a really nice long tail here. Um, I've separated it from the ball, so I just cut myself about two arm lengths of tail, and I've got my darning needle here. So what we're going to do is at the very bottom edge, I've lined up my work right side to right side and wrong side facing each other. So the side that's facing me is going to be the finished side and on the inside it's going to create a little bit of a ridge um, which is fine I completely expect that and um, that ridge is also going to give us nice structure along the along the shoulder so this is going to be an asymmetrical poncho and this ridge is going to be going along the shoulder so it's going to give this piece a really nice structure and hold it up so I've lined up my edges here and I'm going to start at the very bottom and I'm going to pull my thread all the way through. And the pattern's also asking me to give a stitch and a stitch allowance on one side and a stitch and a half on the other. So I'm not going to go to the very, very edge. I'm just going to go about a stitch in because this has a really beautiful textured pattern. It's a little bit trickier than a typical like stockinette or garter stitch, but you will get the idea. And so I've pulled it all the way through. I'm going to give myself about six inches of tail at the very end so I still have the ability to weave that in easily. And then I'm going to go exactly through that same spot and pull it tight again. All right, great. And then, so I've secured it on this side. I'm going to go over to my right hand side. And I'm going to give myself about a stitch allowance here. So it's going to be about right here. And I'm going to grab about two rungs. And pull it tight, but I wouldn't pull it too tight just yet. We'll snug it up in a couple of stitches. And I'm going to go back to the other side, and again, I'm going to give myself about a stitch, stitch and a half allowance, and I'm going to grab two rungs again. Okay, pull it together. And you'll start to see these sides coming together really nicely. So again, I'll hop over to my right side, grab two rungs, and pull it together. So we're just going to keep traveling, pulling our needle straight up along both sides. So I've done the right side. I'm going to go hop back on over to the left-hand side, pull two rungs together. Oops, I'm knocking the camera around a bit.
through the back of the work, you've got that ridge here. And so that is going to give that shoulder seam some nice structure. And the front is just going to look as if the pattern continued. So again, I'm just going to keep on going with this mattress stitch all the way up 13 inches, about just past halfway on this piece. 